Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your February reading slash prediction. It's your girl, Cosmic Jazz 222. And yes, I am back with another horoscope reading. So um, just some disclaimers before we begin. Be sure to check up check out your um, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and even stelliums. Um, any other signs you may have in your chart, just so you can get the full message. Now, this is a general reading. Not everything is going to resonate. So with that being said, if something resonates, take it. If something, something doesn't, um, leave it, okay? Because that might be for another fellow Pisces, all right? And with that being said, let's get into your reading. So Pisces, what I'm going to do is, and I've been doing this with the other signs. So I have this big bucket of stickers, anime stickers, because I love anime. And I'm going to shuffle, pull a sticker, or if uh, two stickers come out, I'll still take it. And that will represent the overall energy surrounding February. And yes, I'm going to have my eyes closed, okay? All right, Pisces, what do you need to know about February? What's your energy? Energy surrounding February for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Stellium, okay? Mm, okay, I like this. I like this one. Let's see. Oh, it's, um, mm, it's Hunter x Hunter. Now, I forgot the characters. I should know. Oh, wait, I just looked. You have two other stickers. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take all three because I'm feeling generous tonight. So Pisces, we have this Hunter x Hunter. These They're like best friends, okay? Oh my gosh, I forgot his name. Okay, if you guys know, I, I know who this is. I just, my mind is blank right now. Okay, we have My Hero Academia, All Might with Deku. And then we have Demon Slayer with, uh, what's his name? Tanjiro, Okay. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is actually a really nice energy. Okay, so Pisces, here's what I'm picking up with um, your February. So number one, I feel like connections are going to be quite the theme for you in the month of February. I'm seeing friendships specifically. So I see you getting closer to someone or maybe a group of people. And I'm seeing you like forming a friendship bond that's almost sibling-like, okay? Because even though they look different, they're... They, pretty much act like siblings so i see you like calling a friend like oh my sister or my brother you know and i see you it's like your partner in crime essentially now for others of you i also feel like this could be connected to love i feel like you will be connected to someone who you see as your match or you you already are dealing with someone of that nature and you see them as your partner in crime essentially or your best friend um there's something here about a friend like even if it's a lover they're your best friend at the end of the day as well i'm also getting with this all my and uh deku sticker there there's also something here about mentorship there's something here about following in the footsteps of someone else. So I'm not sure if this is like a mentor, a professor, a teacher, or even like a role model in your life. So this could be like a family member. But I see you gaining inspiration from them or they're going to be guiding you in some way. And um, I see you <laughs> I see you like unlocking a power essentially in the month of February. Um, something they tell you to do is actually going to work and you're going to be as great as them lastly i'm seeing with deku he looks pretty much um defensive so at the same time while you have these beautiful things happening for you in february going on i also see you in a very defensive mode so there is a message here of protecting your energy and and this they're called demon slayers so you could be um protecting your energy from like people with low vibrational energies negativity um anyone who's on demon time you know so i see you defending yourself and even defending these connections all right so these are some themes that are coming out with the stickers but let's get into your actual chords okay let's see what does pisces need to know about the month of february i forgot to shuffle beforehand but it's okay i'm just gonna shuffle real quick what does Pisces need to know about February? Oh, 
I feel like someone might be trying to talk down on a connection you have. And that's what you're defending. Because it's like you admire or this connection that's showing up is so precious to you. So if somebody even tries to like insult it in any way, you're going to like go haywire on that. <laughs> okay, so we have the star. We have Aquarius energy showing up for Pisces. And we are in Aquarius season, so that makes sense. Oh, I also forgot, Pisces, at the end of February, your season's going to start. So, happy early birthday to all my February Pisces out there. Okay. We have the Fool. Okay. Yeah, Pisces, I'm seeing, like, a brand new start. I'm seeing you beginning a new journey. I'm seeing you in a very playful energy. And it's like brand new. So you might be starting something new in February or towards the end around your solar return. Ace of Pentacles. And then we have the Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. We have the Page of Cups reverse. I see you detaching. Okay, and we got the moon, which is kind of your energy. So the star, the fool. So I'm, I'm being called to talk about Aries season. I know this is a February prediction but something about like march april is going to be very significant as well i think this energy is starting now so um pisces so first and foremost with the star i feel like you're going to be healing something within yourself and this could be anything honestly it could be anything it could be healing rejection insecurities trauma wounds and I see you showing up brand new and ready to start a new journey. And I see you letting go of any baggage that you may have endured or experienced, especially in 2023, okay? I see you becoming hopeful again, all right, Pisces? I see you being hopeful. I see you having faith again. Um, maybe you guys gave up on something, on a dream, and I'm seeing that faith that hope and that motivation returning to you and i'm seeing you being ready to embark on a journey and one of the reasons why you're going to be able to do this is because i'm seeing a lot of support around you i'm seeing people supporting you i'm seeing people guiding you and i'm seeing people really boosting you up and encouraging you to move forward with whatever this is the full card this is a new beginning i'm also getting this could be potentially giving something a second try that's what i'm getting with the ace of pentacles reverse because there was something here so for some of you there was something that you had to give up on there was something you had to literally just stop and move away from because it just wasn't working for you at the time but i'm seeing this thing resurfacing for you once again and i feel like this is finally your time to try it again like now the energy is right for this and I'm seeing your faith being restored in something you thought you had to walk away from completely. Okay. Now, for others of you, this is referring to a bad investment that you had to walk away from. And I see you, I see you walked away from it already, but in February, it, this is when you will actually say goodbye to this thing. So this could be anything, all right? Whatever you had to walk away from be it a relationship, a family connection, a friendship, a um, a job, a career path, a creative project, whatever this is, or even a con like a religion, like a spiritual belief, you had to walk away from it because it wasn't a good investment on your end. And I'm seeing this being replaced by something new and whatever this is, is restoring your faith, okay? So February... You're given a second chance at something. Something is getting a second chance. And it might not necessarily be something from the past. For some of you, it is something from the past. Something that you had to, you had to like temporarily walk away from. But this can be something that is brand new, but it's the same energy. Okay, does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense. So let me clarify. For some of you... I'm seeing you had to walk away. So I'm seeing a group of people. Maybe you had to walk away from a group or a person specifically. And in February, I see you entering a space where you're meeting new people, you're creating better connections, or you're getting closer to someone or a group of people. 
But I'm seeing you in this energy of wanting to protect that because maybe this person that you have to walk away from, this group you try to walk away from, they may be causing a little bit of an issue for you, okay? You know, it might be jealousy, it might be like bitterness, jaded, and I, you know, whatever the case may be, I see you wanting to protect this new thing that's coming in or that is in your life already. With the Knight of Cups Reverse, I mean, Knight of Pentacles Reverse, yeah, this is okay so the reason why i stopped because i got a notification from threads and the, the notification said february is a karmic month so yeah there is something karmic here that you are dealing with in february it's not a bad thing um for some of you something is returning and you're giving a second chance to it or you're being given a second chance um the other portion of it is for those of you who don't resonate with that there's something you left behind and you're given a second chance with something new all right, so there's that. Now, the Knight of Pentacles reverse can talk about inconsistencies, okay, Pisces? So maybe you dealt with things that were inconsistent, people that were inconsistent, um, unstable, right? Things that are unstable, not something that didn't really put an effort towards you. Force towards reverse. Okay, what else does Pisces need to know? Okay, we have the moon upright. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. And then we have the Hermit card, which is technically Virgo energy. So that's like your op your sister sign, Pisces. So Virgo is like the opposite sign of you. Um, so here's what I'm getting, Pisces. So what's really great about February is whatever you're planning on starting, because I see you starting something, is leading to something stable. It's leading to something very long term. Okay. Something that will be with you for the rest of your life or potentially for the rest of your life now there is something here that is being shown to me something did not work out or there was a delay and i'm seeing with the moon card there was secret something was hidden from you you were confused about it and if you did walk away from this that was a good choice if this is a relationship it was a good choice if it was a job it was a good choice for you to walk away because i'm seeing this is actually leading you to something very stable ten of pentacles is one of the best cards to get if you want something long term that will leave a legacy something that will be with you when you grow old or someone perhaps someone that will be with you when you grow old so I, overall february just seems like a fresh start and a second try for you okay so that's what i'm getting So let me just get some additional cards for you, Pisces, for February. So we got two cards. We have Dragon, Beware of Self-Delusion. And you know what's crazy, Pisces? Um, I believe Lunar New Year's is in February, and we are entering the Year of the Dragon. So there might be some type of significance surrounding Lunar New Year's, especially with family, if that's something you do celebrate. Um, something here about delusion, confusion, hidden is going to be brought to light in February, specifically around Lunar New Year's. And it's funny because we have the moon here. We have Beetle, Good Fortune. Okay. I'm also being called to tell you this, Pisces, if you feel some type of way about a situation or a person um, trust your gut feeling because your your intuition is going to be very, very on point on, in February. So you need to trust whatever you're feeling. That's what I'm getting with. Beware of self-delusion. Like, don't try to talk yourself out of, like, whatever feelings you have. Like, it's not insignificant. You feel something. So pay attention to it. Um, let me see. Anything else Pisces needs to know about February? We have older man dealings or relationship with the older man. So there might be an older man that is essential for you in the month of February. This could be a grandparent. This could be an uncle. This could be a father figure. This could even be a mentor. Like, oh yeah, I did say a mentor. I did I did say something about a mentor. So hmm, okay. We have great happiness. Someone here might be giving you advice, Pisces. Or this could be you, Pisces. You could be the older man in this situation. But I'm seeing something long-term here. 
am getting something about wisdom, sharing knowledge. So you're going to receive some very good advice on this new journey you're about to embark. And this is supposed to help lead to success for you. And this is learning from your past mistakes, Pisces. And that's crazy. I just said, it now says seek out information that will help you. So Pisces, you need to network. If you have a network already, go ahead and network because that's going to really help you navigate this energy. And this is a beautiful energy to be in, by the way. Anything else Pisces needs to know? We have temporary problems. Like, yeah, and I was feeling that's what you were dealing with. You have news on the way. Yeah, you're going to be receiving a lot of information, very helpful information. Yeah, it's advice from a friend. It could be that best friend you have or like that partner or it can be this older person, like a wise, like a wise man. I'm getting that's what I'm hearing, a wise man. We have affairs with your family. So this could be all connected to family or like moving. I'm, I'm seeing something about moving or relocating. Ooh. Something about property is being brought up here. Investment, something about money. Because I'm seeing with pay attention to your finances. So someone here might be trying to make a purchase. But you're not too sure if that purchase is wise enough. It's, it's good. It's a good investment. So seek out information first. Don't, don't be delusional. That's what I'm hearing. So yeah, someone here is trying to make a, a purchase. I'm also hearing be careful with your words. Don't don't get offended. If someone's giving you advice, don't get triggered by it. So I don't know who needs to hear that. They're not trying to talk down on you. They're not trying to be condescending, Pisces. They're trying to help you. Don't don't take it personal. They're just trying to help. I don't know. That's for a specific Pisces. Okay. All right. So with that being said, um, I want to get one. Hold on. Give me a second. Hi, Pisces. So I just wanted to pull from this deck real quick just to get additional messages. Yeah, you're really going to receive some type of help in um, February. No, I'm not going to take that because that didn't come out. Okay, we got 22 official person. Okay. So this can talk about someone who's in law enforcement. This can talk about somebody who is a guard or security or someone who has a high ranking status. Okay. I feel like it's this older, this older man. I'm not gonna take that because that's too many cards. Cards. I want to fuck, fuck, fall out, please. Oh, okay, okay. We see a mature man. Mm hmm So there is someone. Okay. So Pisces, here's what I'm getting. There's an older man. Can take what resonates. There's an older man who ha who is high ranking. Um, he has a high position. He's very powerful. He's gonna be helping you in some way, Pisces. Okay. Or this could be you. But if you're that man, that older man, you're helping somebody significant in the month of February, okay? And you have a lot of knowledge to share. Yeah, a wealthy man. And this is someone who is established. So for some of you, Pisces, this could be three men or three masculines helping you in the month of February. And this is what I'm saying, network. Someone might be a professor. Someone might be a boss. Someone might be a CEO or a businessman. Get their help and opinion and advice, okay? All right. So with that being said, let me get um, let me get a song for you, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, about time you receive help. Like, sheesh. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna channel a song. I'm gonna shuffle it, and whatever song comes out is your song for February. Okay. So we got Energy by Tyler Jane. I'm gonna read the lyrics. And it's all because I'm working on my energy, cleaning up. I'm taking care of myself and me. Drinking coffee. Take a sip. They say I'm sparkling. Manifest that. Write it down. Period. Pisces. Period. Okay. You know what's happening. Working on my dream life. Yeah, Pisces. I feel like you're working on something amazing. Okay. You know that I'm successful. Yeah, my bank account be real fine. You know, I got it stacked up. Got my skincare. Yeah, I glow. I shine. You can see me from the moon. And we have the moon card here, right? With the Lunar New Year. So yeah, from the moon. Yeah. How you been wasting your time? Yeah, you worried about the way I've been riding this vibe. Only interested in doing the things that I like. And the things I like are me. Because last year was a mess, but I'm growing up. Thanking God that I'm blessed. Ooh, okay, Pisces. So this is, um, part. so you're going through an upgrade. Yeah, that's, that's the whole point of this. You're going through an upgrade in February. You're starting something new. And the whole focus is 
networking and finding ways to upgrade even more and i'm seeing people that are generally trying to help you in february but i also feel like you're walking away from something or someone um that was messy okay and that's why i see you in this defensive energy like you know i gotta defend what's mine i gotta defend this new life that i have because you're not the same person as you were last year pisces i feel like maybe last year was a bit uh, messy for you this year isn't i see you actually doing things correctly and i'm seeing you in a whole new energy like upgrades upon upgrades coming in for you and it's starting in february so yeah pisces okay so mm, i like that for you i love that for you so definitely get ready get ready all right i saw 333 that might be a specific number for you okay with that being said i hope it resonates pisces and i'll see you guys in the next video bye